All right, we are on Pitt Street. And we were just watching an episode last night where John B. hit the fence and flew over and you could see a Pitt Street Sorry. sign. Mm -hmm. And behind Paula right here, hold on, sheriff's office. is where the sheriff's office in the show is. You can see that in the show with the black shutters. And I'm, I think right there, they had the sign, the sheriff's office sign. I don't think it was way up there. You can't see because of all the cars, but there's a scene in one of the shows and you can see the Rexall drugs. You can see the Rexall drug sign in the scene. And it's right there, but we can't get in the street because there are a lot of cars. All right, we came into the Pitt Street Pharmacy to grab some food. I love places like this. Look at the look at the billboard. This is so reminiscent of my childhood. There, um, we used to go in the Haney's in Opelika, and they had boards up like this. And then Kurt was going to get a float, but they were out of root beer. Sorry. Look at the canisters over there. It'll be good. Hello down there. Hello. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Everybody doing okay? Mm -hmm. Get something to drink and we'll cool off. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try and see what else we can spot. So growing up, we would always go into Haynes. And Thomas Pharmacy in Opelika reminds me a lot of this place too. Hadn't been in there in years, but it reminds me a lot about that. Uh -oh. This is a cool little place. Look at the sign back there. I love it. Kurt, did you see this as we came in? Coke machine. And it actually, it it actually works. There are cokes in there. Bottle cokes in there. Oh, you didn't get anything to drink? Look at this. Oh, water. I didn't look. Know I had a bowl. oh, did you guys want the fridge? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, look at the old phone booth. That's cool. Look. Check it out. I love it. You need to go check out the phone booth. Back there. It's really neat. It's an old phone booth. Yep, and I'm she was saying go. that um, it used to be outside. It doesn't work at the moment, but technically it could Yeah, they work. just got to hook it up. That is so, so neat. You need to check it out. But they said it was out on, she said it was out on the street, and they were wanting to get rid of it. And so the owner of the pharmacy fought to get it, and he got it and put it in here. So it's really neat. This is a really cool place. Yeah. Okay. Wait a so, minute. Wait a minute. All right. We learned some really interesting stuff, so Paula's going to talk. Okay, so we found out that underneath this little counter right here, we're still in Pitt Street Pharmacy. Underneath this counter right here is gum, Sorry, it's not just any kind of gum, it's the oldest gum in collection, South, gum collection in South Carolina, and it was photographed by National Geographic Yeah, it was three times. Yeah, recognized by National Geographic, I thought that was so cool. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Um, no cheese. What she needs that hamburger. Okay, the gum collection that I just filmed. She says she cleans it. She just cleaned it a little while ago. I'm not touching it on purpose, but there's a video of it. Also, um, they filmed Outer Banks in here. 
for this season and we didn't even know it until the the nice nice lady that was here told us yeah for, for the third season, season. Three. and they filmed in here and like she said she has met everybody in the main crew except, except for Kiara and that's really cool that's really cool mm -hmm. So if we see it in the third season, we were here. Definitely, we'll, we'll be jumping true. up and down screaming, won't we? Mm -hmm. All right, we got our burgers. This thing is humongous. Look at the patty on that thing. And Julian also got a cheeseburger, right? And you got chicken salad? Mm -hmm. I'll have to check it out. I just noticed this. <laughs> I was reading this video on the sidewalk prohibited and down below it, I see Kildare Island Surfboard Company. Yeah, Paula is about finished with the grilled cheese. Mm -mm. I mean, not grilled cheese. Paula is about finished with her chicken salad. I'm pretty good at it, Yeah. Oh my gosh, people, we just had the best experience. If you are ever, ever here, please go in here and talk to the lady behind the counter. Oh my gosh. And I mean, they just have stuffed burgers, chicken salad, pimento cheese, grilled cheese, hot dogs. So cool. All right, we walk down just a little bit and we're standing in front of this shop right here. This had a sign on it in the show called the Kildare Surf Shop. Now I can't remember. We just looked surf it up. Shop. The Kildare Surf Shop. Whatever. Anyway, they had a sticker in the drugstore for it. But now it's called Shrimp and Grits Kids. But we looked at a picture from it. And, you know, we matched up the brick, the windows, and all of that. So this is it. <clears throat> And you can see this right in the background mm -hmm. when John B. falls and Sarah comes and runs to his aid somewhere right out in the street up that way. And there's the what stood in for the sheriff's office. Okay, so Paula's filming now. So I'm going to see if I can cross the street over here. No, there's a car coming right now. But over here, there's a scene in season one. Hold on one second. Oh, this car. Oh, in season one, there is, like, he trips over a chain right here. And you can see in the background the Pitt Street thing. You can see that in the background, so I just thought that was pretty cool. I don't know what's going on here. I think there was a car. Okay, so this is a church that was in Outer Banks as well. Um, so basically, there is a scene where Peter Kim is talking to, who was it? Ward? Scooter's wife. Okay, Scooter's wife about some of the stuff that's been going on with yeah, I Scooter. Yeah, I don't remember what episode. I'm gonna have to wait. And... Anyways, so this is this was in Otter Banks as well. It's a very tiny church, yeah, actually. Yeah, so... It's like a copper peak up there. Oh, look at the little church, the replica. I guess that's a replica in front. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether... I'm assuming it was this part of it. We'll have to watch and continue watching tiny and see. church. Anyways, but it was right before, if you haven't watched it, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, Peter gets killed. So this is when she meets um, Scooter's wife, and it's just supposedly right before she gets killed. Uh, Which anyways. breaks my heart, because she's my favorite. She's really my favorite character. <laughs> Alright, All right, we're at Creekside Lens Inn which stood in for the hotel in episode one where they broke in you want to tell us more where they broke, yeah, they broke in. in and got a gun and some money and then kiara and pope were on a boat in this area right here the yeah Marks right out area, here waiting and they had to end up throwing rocks at that window up there yep. window up there yep so there's the window right up there <laughs> let's see, i'm gonna go where dad is okay and down here i don't know whether i can find them They're everywhere. Look at that. Oh, look at that. They found little crabs crawling around here. They look like giant roaches to me. Ooh, that's creepy. 
so Paula was saying top window and if I remember correctly there was scaffolding or something they had to and, put a prop there so they could stand well, yeah. and then each one of them was on each one side of the window to avoid being seen morning travelers we decided to stop at the mountaintops to grab a bite to eat. This is a really, really nice restaurant. We're on safari this it's weekend. It's beachfront and the beach is just like off the side, not getting hit with sand. I got a virgin mango drink. It was like 95 degrees on the bottom of the step. I got a dirty water. So nice. It just came out of the faucet like that. Yep. Dirty water. Anyway. We are on safari for filming locations. And we came out to the Isle of Palms. So anyway. We're just here. Having a good time. All right, we stopped in at Coconut Joe's. There were several other restaurants, but they didn't open yet, and we were hungry, so we decided, oh, bird. It says, please don't beat the birds, but they're coming. Food chain. This is mine. Black and mahi with green beans and grits. Mm. Kurt got black and mahi too, and he got fruit instead. All right, Julian got grouper and shrimp, right? Okay. And you got potatoes and fruit. Everybody got fruit but me. Mm -hmm. Paula got the smothered chicken. Is that right? Mm -hmm.